Australia's snowfields could see a reduction in the number of snowy days by as much as 52% according to a new study. So, how will this affect the Australian Alps and what can we do to reduce the impact? Yeah, so the key finding findings of the report is that climate change is already impacting the Australian Alps um, and it's impacting it across a lot of really different and interconnected spaces. So that includes alpine tourism, regional communities, hydroelectricity, carbon sequestration, uh, high country ecosystems um, and inflows into the Murray-Darling Basin, as well as First Nations people and their connection to country in the Australian Alps. And then the other thing that it shows is that these climate change impacts are going to get much worse. And that includes things like increased temperatures, decreased rainfall and snowfall and more extreme weather events. But how much these get worse is really dependent on our greenhouse gas emissions now. We did projections along a low emission, a mid emission and a high emission scenario. So in the low emission scenario, ski season lengths would shorten by about 28 days on average across all the ski resorts. Um, and that jumps to 44 days shorter in the mid emission scenario. And that jumps to 55 days shorter in the high emission scenario. The high country ecosystems are already changing. We're seeing species move to different elevations as the snow line retreats and as temperatures rise, they can, they can move to different areas and that's having lots of flow on effects. We're also seeing fire is dramatically changing in the Alps as increased temperatures and decreased rainfall is occurring. We're having more fires and that's creating different vegetation that is more flammable that is then contributing to more fires. So we're seeing dramatic change and there are some options. We can have weed removal programs, invasive species removal. We can restore wetlands and that will all improve the resilience of high country ecosystems. But then we can also look towards more kind of novel and transformative adaptation responses. And that might be translocating threatened species or genetically intervening to try and give them better tools to adapt. And those are things that need more research before we implement them but we need to be considering them given the level of climate change for high country ecosystems. There is a lot of research going on overseas about how climate change is impacting alpine ecosystems and tourism. There are some lessons we can learn. So overseas alpine ski resorts are already anticipating less snow and they've transitioned to summer tourism, which is something that Australian ski resorts are doing as well. But for example, Whistler has an incredible success rate in its mountain biking. And so that's something that we can really bring across here as Threadbow is doing. Some other key findings of the report is that Australia will experience climate change more drastically and faster than these overseas resorts. And so we've been called the canary in the coal mine in this regard. So what we do, how we respond to climate change, it will be a lesson for overseas resorts, overseas alpine communities and alpine ecosystems, hopefully as a message of what to do to maintain the values that we have for the, for the Alps. Thank you.